Hi everyone and welcome to Fun with Code. In this video, we are going to create a calendar using Python. So we have we'll use calendar in our daily lives. Uh, we'll use virtual calendars. We'll use physical calendars. Uh, today we are going to create a virtual calendar using Python. So I I hope it will be fun creating our own virtual calendar instead of searching it online or using Windows or any other calendar. So if you are having fun, please subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button. So we are going to need a module called PyQt5. So let's first install the module. So let's say pip, pip install pyqt5 pyqt5 and i've already installed the module so it says requirement already satisfied so let's go and import the module so let's say from from p from pyqt5 import everything and from py qt5 from py qt5 dot widgets import everything so now we are going to create a class so if you don't know what is class comment down below i'll make a video on that so let's say class we are going to call this main window main window and this will take in q and this will take so it's main window and we are going to pass in q main window and let's put the colon so we are going to say define underscore under, underscore underscore image and if you are using a uh, ide you will automatically get this when you type this so we it's we are initializing this class by saying def underscore underscore init so self so here we are going to create the window so now let's say let's set the window title let's say self dot self dot set window title so we are going to set it as so we are going to set it as calendar and now we are going to give the size of the window so let's say self dot self dot set geometry actually i don't need any geometry so let's remove this and let's say self dot show this will this will show the image uh, i mean the window so after uh, now let's get out of the class so let's we are uh, we have created the class but we did not actually call the class so we in uh, in order to show the window we need to run the class so we are going to create a variable which will be equal to this class so let's create a variable called app app which is equal to q application application oh let's also import a module called in series sys and we are going to pass in sys dot argv and then we are going to say cal another variable this will be equal to main window Actually, this is window 
not going down and then let's try running this code and see what see what we get actually this should be qt widgets and i think we don't need this so let's remove that and now let's run the program actually even this should be capital t actually now we had a window open and it's just gone so we need uh, the window to be open till the user closes it closes it so let's do that sys dot exit and then we are going to say app dot exec now let's save this and let's run this program again now we have a cal uh, a window with title calendar actually now here uh, we are going to add calendar in here so it's very simple to add the calendar we are going to go inside the class and let we are going to give an uh, another command so let's say let's name it as calendar and this is going to take cell now let's create a variable so let's just call it as cll call which will be equal to which will be equal to q calendar widget the list we need to pass in self here otherwise we can't see the calendar now let's dot let's set the geometry set make sure you uh, type it right and actually i don't think so we need to set any geometry let's set it to be default and we we need to call this function in where when we are initializing this class so let's call the function let's just say calendar and it's it's done now when you let's just add self here now let's run the program and see if this works actually we have the window but we can't see the calendar uh, let's solve this let's solve this problem when we run the program we can't see the calendar because uh, this should be before we type self dot show now let's save the program and run this program and now we have a calendar but it's not looking good i think we need to set the geometry for this so let's do that c a l l dot set set geometry and we are going to pass uh, let's say 60 60 400 and 450 let's see if this works now we have a lot we have a better calendar but the window is not right I, I think we need to set the geometry for the window self dot set set geometry and then we are going to say 70 70 500 and 500 
and now we have a better calendar and you can change the month here and here you can change the year and you can if you scroll up and down you can go to different months select the dates and that's it for this video guys if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button if you want anything new please comment down below i'm always free to make videos on the topics which you recommend